Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from the YouTube channel Redolescence. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, we're gonna take a close look at five fragrances that made the Oscars. So stay tuned. The Oscars were last night and that kind of gave me the idea to do this video. But before I begin, I do have two disclaimers. One, I can already anticipate what some of the comments are going to say. You shouldn't purchase a fragrance just because it's worn by a celebrity and that is completely true. I don't hold these fragrances in any higher or less regard just because they're worn by a particular celebrity. And truth be told, with the over 1,000 fragrances that I do have in my collection, not a single one was purchased just because it's worn by a particular celebrity. So with that being said, fragrance is very personal, it's very sentimental, it's something that should cater to your personal taste and so don't buy something just because somebody else is wearing it and the second disclaimer that I have is I can't actually confirm that any of these fragrances were worn at last night's Oscars but with the help of the celebrity fragrance guide these are fragrances that were at one point confirmed to have been worn by the celebrities that I'm including in this list and that's via television print and other types of media so with that being said let's go ahead and start off the list so one celebrity that we saw at last night's Oscars is Daniel Craig, and Daniel Craig, of course, is very popular in the James Bond franchise, and in the 2006 movie Casino Royale, when he opens Vesper Lynn's bag, you can actually see that this fragrance is in there, and this is a very old fragrance. It actually came out in 1965, and this one by Santa Maria Novella is called Aqua di Colonia Melograno. This is actually a pomegranate based scent and it also has a little bit of vetiver, it has oak moss if I'm not mistaken, it has a little bit of iris or orris root and the interesting thing about this one is that it has that classic vibe to it but it has a citrusy freshness about it that I really like. Now truth be told, this is an old scent, it's more of like a vintage bottle in my collection and I do think that it would fit that classy gentlemanly demeanor of uh, James Bond rather well. So this is number five on the list. Now another celebrity that you might have seen in last night's Oscars is Lady Gaga. As you might already know, Lady Gaga already has her own perfume line and yes, it has been said that she does wear her own fragrances and the first fragrance that she ever released was quite an interesting one for a number of different reasons. One, at first it was purported to smell like blood and sweat and a number of other bodily fluids but of course Snopes.com uh, said that that wasn't the case at all. This fragrance actually contains belladonna which is a poisonous flower and what better fragrance to suit her personality, I think. And this one is called Fame. Now it has very dark liquid, it's a floral scent, and uh, it's one that I wouldn't necessarily recommend for everybody if you're not a fan of floral fragrances. Chances are this one won't cater to your personal interest. It's not one that I have ever worn. You might have seen that the level in the bottle is a bit depleted, but that's only because my wife wears it. So truth be told, of these two, I don't really wear either one of them. Now, accompanying Lady Gaga in her performance of Shallow from the movie A Star Is Born was Bradley Cooper, and I think they did put on a wonderful performance last night. And Bradley Cooper actually started off by wearing this fragrance, and this from the house of Ralph Lauren is called Polo Blue. I am using the Eau de Parfum version for presentation purposes, and so he actually started off with this fragrance. It was his signature scent for a while, and then he started wearing Dracar Noir, and then after Dracar Noir, he started wearing classic by Banana Republic. Truth be told, I think this is the best of the three that I just mentioned. The other two, uh, they just don't cater to my personal interests at all. But I do think this is a nice, safe, fresh, citrusy, aquatic type scent that almost kind of gives off like a cucumber vibe. I do find it to be pretty refreshing and I will admit that the Eau de Parfum is a little bit better than the Eau de Toilette. So my bottle of the Eau de Toilette is actually so old that the Polo label actually faded off and I only have about a few sprays left in there. So I've had this for many, many years. Another performer that took to last night's Oscars was Adam Lambert and according to the Celebrity Fragrance Guide, Adam Lambert does love the fragrance Dior Um by Christian Dior. Now, I think this is actually the best fragrance of this entire list. Uh, this is a fragrance that was composed by Olivier Polge uh, before he started working for Chanel. And this is a gorgeous iris-based scent. And iris is a floral ingredient, but I think for a man's fragrance, this works really, really well. I do find it to be rather unisex just because iris is also used in a lot of women's fragrances as well. And I personally really enjoy this one. 
And last night, you may have also seen Captain America himself, Chris Evans. Uh, some of you might already know that Chris Evans was the face of several ad campaigns for the company Gucci. He did Gucci Guilty Intent and Gucci Guilty O. I actually don't own either one of those fragrances because I didn't really like them too much, but I do have Gucci Guilty Black. I ended up purchasing this one just because off of the initial spray, it really catered to my personal taste. And then I found that that citrusy opening doesn't really last for a very long time. Although I must say, I do get a lot of compliments with this one. Again, it's not always about the compliments, but it's nice to have somebody tell you that you smell good. So there you have it. These are five fragrances that made the Oscars last night. Once again, these are just fragrances that I know are worn by certain celebrities that you saw at last night's Oscars uh, via the Celebrity Fragrance Guide. And so they're not a sponsor of this video at all. It's just a website that I use to sort of compile this list. I would also like to know if you had a chance to walk the red carpet, what fragrances would you wear to the Oscars or what fragrance would you wear to the Oscars? Leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to know. Myself personally, I think I'd wear something gentlemanly like Green Irish Tweed which is said to have been worn by Clint Eastwood. I don't know how accurate that is, but there you go, a little bonus fact. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Just thought I'd do this fun video. I hope you guys like it. If you did take something of value from this video, I would love your subscription. Leave a comment down below. And also please make sure to click that red subscribe button. This way when I do release new videos, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about searching up my name to find any of my future fragrance related content. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.